Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep Final Mix. And in the previous video we took down a very hard secret boss. And as a reward we got a very cool looking keyblade, Void Gear, which is going to help us out a lot in this next battle. Because this next opponent is even harder. And as a result, because yet again I am commentating this, I'm gonna have to abuse the Thunder Surge combo sort of thing. For those who do not know, this boss is very, very weak to Thunder Surge, and it may be seen as sort of a cheap tactic to use it, but hey, if the boss is weak to it, I'm gonna use it. I'm not one to challenge myself very often. And yes, we are using Aqua. Now, using Terra or Ven would be way better here if you are using the Thunder Surge sort of strategy. But at the end of the day, I didn't feel like creating another character with all of these abilities. So, most importantly, all you need is Attack Haste and Cure Boost. And pretty much just Leaf Bracers once more and Second Chance. Also, probably a good idea to have the screens as well. And reload. Okay, basically you just get what I want. What I have here is probably a good idea. Well, with that being said, there really isn't really much of a tutorial here. Just give it your all and hope that you can beat this opponent. So let's go to the land of departure and take on this boss. And so begins our battle with the unknown. This guy is no joke. If you're not using Thunder Surge or Magic Hour, good luck. This is definitely one of the most difficult bosses in Kingdom Hearts. Like, this guy, no way of getting around it. It's a very hard- oh crap. If that attack ever hits you, make sure you dash out of that, because you would not like what happens after that. And yes, it is a little sporadic, and <sighs> this guy is just- there's so many different attacks, I don't even think I can explain them all. Okay, so I'm just gonna focus on trying to beat the boss. Now this guy had a nickname for a very long time. He was called the Embodiment of Square Enix, because you're gonna be pressing Square a lot in this boss fight. This is why I have so many cures, is because I'm gonna mess up. I know I'm gonna mess up. I know I'm gonna mess up, and the fact remains, we're gonna need to heal a lot. So let's keep on rolling, and hopefully Leap, Ra Leap Racer will help us out. But the unknown is weak to Thunder Surge, and if we get enough attacks of it off, it will actually stun him or force him to block, which does immobilize him and makes the boss fight a lot more manageable. I did not want to hit him there, especially when he's about to do this. Halfway through the fight, he will just become invisible and you cannot lock on, and I did not want to shoot that in that direction at all. Ooh, this is really, really bad because he can just use so many spells, and you really don't have anything to, you know, you can't lock on woman. That was the worst attack to hit by ever. Basically, sometimes he'll do a wind attack and he'll blow all your commands away, which is really bad. He also does this laser beam attack. Just keep dodging. That is all I can tell to do. Like, the w just dodge everything. <laughs> you can't get hit by anything if all your Kurakas are down. You're pretty much done. I don't know how you're supposed to beat him, and now he's using the meteors. Ugh, great, and he's so invisible. This is just not my day, now is it? Great, yeah, this, this is really, really hard. Well, luckily, stun lock me a little bit, not... Okay, that was a really lucky dodge. Oh my gosh. Now, if I can actually do this properly now, and actually hit him, okay, get out of that. We need to, okay, luckily his invisibility ran down, and we're on his last bar of health. Come on, just a couple more thunder surges, and he should go down. Oh my gosh, he blocked it. Crap. Uh, go, 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 Aqua! <laughs> oh my gosh. We're so close, man. We're so close. Alright, just one more. Okay. 
I know it is a little cheap, but that fight is way too hard to compensate. Oh my gosh. Heck yeah. And as a result of winning the battle versus the unknown, we will get no name. Pretty much one of the best Keyblades for Aqua. Even better than Ultimate Weapon? Eh, debatable, but <laughs> that fight, oh my gosh, guys. Some people are going to be a little mad at me that I used the Thunder Surge method, but hey, I beat him. Can't say I did it. <laughs> And it does make our physical attacks a little bit weaker, but the fact remains, getting that boost in magic is, well, pretty good, obviously. Oh, man. And, well, now that's done. There's really only two more secret bosses to take care of in this game, but they require a little bit more setup to reach. Are they as difficult? Eh... Debatable, but... Might as well show you off the uh, Keyblade after all. I mean, gosh, we did we went so much to get it. But yeah, that that is just a really, really just fun boss fight, too. It's just really interesting. All the attacks, very difficult to dodge. If you don't use the Thunder Surge method, it is a very cool boss fight. And yeah, let's just see it in action. It has these really cool effects on it. I like it a lot. But a lot of people are probably wondering, who was that? Why did he have... Blue swords, really. Well, you're just gonna have to wait until my let's play of Kingdom Hearts Dream Drop Distance. Decided to plug it a little bit. <laughs> I know a couple of people were like, oh, did he really just do that? Yes, I really just did that. Unless you just want to Google the answer. But the guy was, but hey, where's the fun in that? I mean, this, this Keyblade is ridiculously strong. So getting it, yeah, it may be a little hard, but it definitely is worth it, at least in my opinion. And yeah, that'll pretty much do it for this episode of Let's Play Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep Final Mix. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, this boss battle video. Probably wasn't the most exciting thing in the world, but yeah. Guess I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye.